Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have the cutest little thing to show you today and I have to give credit to Tanya Bell. She's a fellow demonstrator on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. So thanks a lot, Tanya. This is called an origami lotus flower and it fits a little kiss inside of it perfectly. These really are not hard to make. There's one basic fold for the petals and the flower itself. So I just thought this was a cute little combination to go with my card today. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make some lotus flowers of your own. So the first thing you're gonna need, look at this splash of color, hey, is some designer series paper. And I just happened to choose the fruit stand designer series paper. This paper is gorgeous. It was very colorful, which was what I was looking for. Even though this was to accompany my clean and crisp card for today's blog hop, um, I liked the soft colors and the fact that you don't see a lot of color due to the folding on these lotus flowers. I just thought it was a nice pop of color. So. As of the making of this video, the Fruit Stand Designer Series paper was still available. It is retiring. It is on sale for $8.80. You get two 12 by 12 double-sided sheets of each pattern. So you get 12 sheets of um, Designer Series paper, two of each pattern. It's a fabulous deal. And this has been such a fun um, set of Designer Series paper. I love the beautiful pops of color in it. So if you want to get yourself some, I hope it's still available. And if not, any designer series paper will work. I just needed something that had some green in it for my petals. And you can see here, I actually used this print for the, for the petals of my flower on this particular one. So it doesn't have to be all green either. So I thought that was kind of neat. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is six pieces of designer series paper that are one and a half by two and three quarters. And I chose this paper again to use as my leaf pattern. And I chose pink this time for my flower. So this is gonna be my leaves, this is gonna be my flower. Three pieces of each, three for the leaves, three for the flower. And I've already folded up the other ones that I need, and I'm going to show you how to fold one of these. You're going to take your one and a half by two and three quarter inch piece of designer series paper and fold it right down the middle. And this is where your bone folder comes in really handy to burnish those edges. Open it back up, and now we're going to fold down each corner. And if you need to manipulate the paper a little bit, just break it down by bending it back and forth a little with your finger and give it a good crisp fold. And again, we're just bringing those corners into that center. And then you're going to take each side and bring it in to the center. And this is where I kind of like to fold it up a little bit to make sure that I'm getting it right into that, oops, right into that crease. The better folder you are, the better these are gonna turn out. So you do wanna make sure you're getting them all the way into the center and trying to keep everything crisp and folded the right way. See, I've got one here. This one's a little kitty wampus right there, but I don't think it's going to matter. And then you're just going to fold it like that. So you've got kind of a, I don't know, a little canoe. Yay. Okay. So once you get all six of these folded like that, you're going to take your leaf pattern and you're going to fold it so the folds are on the inside. Okay. We're going to lay it down like that. And you're going to take your flower pattern so that the folds are facing you. And you're gonna do your little canoe thing there and set them right on top of each other, okay? So your leaf, the folds are underneath. Your flower, the folds are on top. And you're just gonna set those all on top of each other, just like that. Tanya recommended using 
um, some jewelry wire and I just happen to have rolls of this wire. I've got it in different colors, but I just grabbed some very flexible wire. And this is about a five inch piece of wire and I thought that worked out just fine. I'm just gonna fold my wire in half or bend it in half like that so it's ready to go. And you're going to push all these up so they're stacked. Oops. Oh, let's see if I can get this done. This one is giving me a hard time. There we go. It unfolded a little bit. We're just going to stack these all up like this so that they're even. And then you want to bring your wire in from the top so the color that your flower is going to be is on top here and your leaves are underneath. And I'm just going to put this right in the center. So you want to try to get it right in the center of your flower stack here and start twisting because you want to get it fairly tight so it holds on pretty good. We'll deal with the wire a little bit later, don't worry about that. Now you're going to take each one of these sets of petals, I guess, petals and leaves, and fold them right in half like that. Let me get that out of the way. Fold it in half like that, do the same thing on the other side. And now you've got kind of what looks like a star. This one looks a little like it's not quite centered. I'm just gonna move it a little bit and you can do that after you get that wire in there if you don't get it too darn tight. Okay, so there's our star. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to go back to the side of your flower color, and in my case it's pink, and you're going to very gently, so you don't tear these, turn these up. Get my wire out of the way here. And again, very gently, you may need to smush your paper a little bit, kind of breaking down those fibers. And these just pull up into the cutest little flower petal. Kind of reminds me of a tulip, right? And you just keep going around. We're only taking the top one. You're leaving your leaf ones alone for right now. I did get this one a little crooked. This petal is going to be kind of short. And again, just kind of push your paper down. It doesn't matter that you're wrinkling it or bending it or whatever because it's going to look just fine once you get it made into the petal. Just kind of pops up like that. And of course, remember, the first time you make this is always the hardest. Anytime you make something, it's the hardest. But once you keep at it, these get a little bit easier. Okay, so now that we've got our flower petals popped up like that, isn't that cool? I think it's just so neat. Now you're going to simply take your leaves and kind of push them flat like this, just like that. And you can see where I didn't, oh, look it, I just moved that one, that's awesome. I was gonna say I didn't have that one right in the center. So that'll be better. Okay. And now, we are going to grab our Hershey's Kiss and set that right in the middle. And these fit in here just perfectly. Well, I kind of got that one a little goofy because I think I tore it a little bit. So just be careful so you're not tearing. You want to smush your paper to break down those fibers. And then you can take some wire cutters or whatever hap you happen to need to trim off these wires. I'm going to bend that over just a little bit so it doesn't scratch anybody or anything. That's good. It's tucked in there really good. And if you see, this is our little flower like this and I do I like the pink one it's got just a little bit of that peach color on the leaves showing through which matches I use a little bit of um, you've got a little bit of a peachy color right here with the card that I made using the aqua wash technique so here's a flower nice and soft this one's a little brighter I use this particular designer series paper for this flower 
um, out of the same pack, the fruit stand pack. So here's our three little lotus blossoms. And I think that this is just one of those extra special things that you can give to somebody with a card that, you know, it doesn't, your gifts don't have to cost a lot of money, but they should be from the heart. And I think that's what's most important here. This is a neat little gift to give to a coworker or um, just a friend, you know, whatever the case may be, but they're going to appreciate this little extra effort here. So make some lotus blossom flowers of your own. I hope you have fun with this. And um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. You can also pop on over to my blog where I'll have all the dimensions and ingredients I used for these projects today at www.astampabove.com. Please make sure you go to the bottom of the post and click on the next button so you can continue on the series in this blog hop. We have some fantastic stampers lined up in this particular hop. I think you're going to love it. So add a little sparkle to someone's day. Make them a little treat. Have a good one.